Here, we're adding mixed numbers. So first, we have 2 and 4 fifths plus 2 and 2 fifths. If we add 4 fifths and 2 fifths, we get 6 fifths as our fraction, because when we add fractions, the denominators stay the same. But 6 fifths is an improper fraction, so we're going to need to do something slightly different here. Adding our whole numbers, 2 plus 2 is 4. So, we can write 4 plus 6 fifths, because when we add our whole numbers, we get 4, and when we add our fractions, we get 6 fifths. But, we can't write 4 and 6 fifths as our answer, because we can't have an improper fraction in a mixed number. We can't have a fraction where the numerator, or top number, is larger than the denominator. So, what we need to do is change those 6 fifths back into a mixed number. That's 1 and 1 fifth, because 6 divided by 5 is 1 remainder 1, or because 1 times 5 is 5, plus 1 is 6, and that's the numerator of our improper fraction. So, 4 plus 1 is 5, the 1 fifth stays the same, so our answer is 5 and 1 fifth. Now, we have 2 and 3 quarters, and we're adding 1 and 3 quarters. If we add the fractions together, 3 quarters plus 3 quarters is 6 quarters, but that's an improper fraction, so we'll know that we're going to need to change it back into a mixed number, and then add that to our whole numbers. So, 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 quarters plus 3 quarters is 6 quarters, because remember, when we add fractions, the denominator stays the same. But again, we can't write 3 and 6 quarters as our answer, because we can't have an improper fraction in a mixed number. We need to change 6 quarters back into a mixed number. So 6 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 2. So 6 quarters is 1 and 2 quarters as a mixed number. And that makes sense because 1 times 4 is 4, plus 2 is 6, and that's the numerator of the improper fraction we had. So, adding that to our 3 holes, 3 plus 1 is 4, the 2 quarters stays the same, so our answer is 4 and 2 quarters. So why is it that the whole numbers in our question were 2 and 1, but the whole number in our answer was 4? Well, that's because we made another whole number by changing the improper fraction into a mixed number. We can see that more clearly if we show the fraction bars. So first, we had 2 and 4 fifths, so 2 wholes and 4 fifths of another fraction bar, and we were adding 2 and 2 fifths. When we added the fractions together, we got 6 fifths, but we had to change that back into a mixed number, so that's 1 whole and 1 fifth. When you add 1 and 1 fifth to the 4 holes that we got from adding the whole numbers in our question, that gives us our answer 5 and 1 fifth, and you can see that on our fraction bars, we now have 5 holes and 1 fifth. Then, we had 2 and 3 quarters, so that's 2 holes and 3 quarters, and we were adding 1 and 3 quarters. When we put the quarters together, we got 6 quarters, but we knew that we couldn't write 3 and 6 quarters as our answer. Instead, we needed to change 4 of those quarters into one more whole, so adding the fractions, what we have at the bottom, gave us 1 and 2 quarters. When we add that to the three holes that we have from adding the whole numbers in our question, that gave us our answer 4 and 2 quarters, and you can see that we now have four whole fraction bars and two quarters of another one. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.